Alfred Gundas. <laughs> Way in the back there with the wavy hand. No, no, not the wavy hand, the hand. Oh. <laughs> that was huge. It was just, yes, you in the blue. I know, you're waiting for friends. Now I'm pointing to another person. Me and Blue? Yes, and Big fans. Okay. Okay. I'm a Pokemon, so. Okay. Anyway, to all ye voice actors, um, I am a person who would love to go into voice acting when I grow up. And I would like to know what would be the best piece of advice that all ye voice actors would give to someone who is trying to get into that business. Don't do it. <laughs> no, absolutely not. She doesn't sound like me, so I'm not worried. <laughs> Well, I can already tell you, you got great projection, you got great presence. And voice acting is acting, so what you got to do is study acting. Mm -hmm. If you really want to be serious about it, go to school, because it's very difficult just to make your living as a voice actor. You always have to have other jobs and things that you do. So, and if you want to be an actor, you know, I do children's puppet shows, I do <laughs> workshops, I do training for corporations, I do uh, Chuck E. Cheese industrials, I do whatever will pay me. <laughs> because I like money. <laughs> but you just have to study. You've got to become a real actor, a real actress. You've got to just fall in love with it. Just go for it. And don't let anybody stop you, because you now with the internet, anyone can make anything they want. You can do a motion comic. You can do a, you know, a, an audio book, anything. So just go do it. Um, I want to add to that just by saying, like, the phrase I always got was, always for seizures. Uh, it's always for sneakers. It's a joke that, you know, it's going to be hard, and it's going to be a long walk, it's going to be a long travel, it's going to be a lot of hard work. And the thing is that the sneakers cushion your blows also because, you know, when you eat that little bad thing. And so when people are going to slam on the door and tell you no, rejection after rejection, it happens. You might get lucky, you might get it, you know? And when you do, you know, celebrate your success as always, but always wear good sneakers, you know, to make sure that you withstand it and keep following your dreams because if you have passion, you'll make it. You will. Read for the blood. You can, we talked about this back in Vegas, that if you want to get into voice acting, get involved with the program Reading for the Blood. You do not have to have an amazing gift. You do not have to have a big name. But people out there need people to read for the blind. And it is a fantastic pad for your resume. It is a fantastic practice. And it gets you a, a really great option for audiobooks. And for you. Also, I think it's really important to be passionate about it if you really want to get into it because um, obviously as well, I'm kind of saying it, it does take a really long time. You have to be really resilient and um, one thing that I always tell people is never say never. Even if it's an opportunity that might not make money, whatever, just go ahead and do it because it can all be chopped up to experience of some kind. You just never know. And it's a journey at the end of the day. You never know. Something might actually work to your favor. You know, you might do something and then it might end up paying off like 20 years down the line. You just never know. So always keep your options open and be passionate about it.